what did I find out in April of 2022 that blew my mind so much I started researching insects and spiders for over six months? Well, I'm going to tell you. But before I do, there's a few things about insects in America. Insects can be a nuisance. They can also pose significant threats to agriculture, structures, and human health. While every state in the U.S. has its share of insect problems, some states have more severe insect issues than others, like far more severe. Another thing you need to understand is spiders and insects are not the same thing. Spiders are arachnids and insects belong to the Insecta class. Basically, one's a spider, one's an insect. Today, we're looking at the 10 states with the worst insect problems and some stories to go along with it. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Alabama. In Alabama, there's a species of insect called the love bug, and it is notorious for being in the mood a couple times a year. This becomes a nuisance to residents and visitors. During mating season, which occurs twice a year in late spring and early fall, these black and orange insects can be seen flying around in pairs, often stuck together in a mating position for hours on end. They're harmless to humans, but their large numbers can make them a driving hazard as they swarm around cars and obstruct the driver's vision. I was told about these years ago. One summer, a friend of mine said they were driving along a rural road and she encountered a swarm of the love bugs. She tried to, you know, get through them, but so many smashed on her window, she actually had to pull over and wait for the insects to kind of go away. She cleaned off her windshield and drove on. Some of the common insect species found in Alabama include mosquitoes, they get pretty bad, they're ticks, which are horrible, ants, beetles, and bees. Some of these insects can be harmful, such as the ticks, because they carry Lyme disease, and fire ants can deliver a painful sting. However, many of the insects also play an important role in pollination in the ecosystem. You also get chiggers there too. Alabama has pretty bad problem though with mosquitoes, termites, and cockroaches, which can pose health risks and cause significant damage to homes and businesses. Definitely bring down your property value. On a good note, they're also known for a large number of butterflies and moth species. Number nine, South Carolina. In 2019, South Carolina experienced an outbreak of the Asian giant hornet, which is also known by its more cuddly name, the murder hornet. These invasive hornets, which are native to Asia, obviously in case the name Asia didn't tip you off, they can grow up to two inches long and have a venomous sting that can be deadly to humans. I kind of want one as a pet at this point. The first sighting of the Asian giant hornet was in August of 2019 when a resident in the town of Bluffton spotted one in their yard. Over the next few weeks, several more sightings were reported in the area and the South Carolina Department of Agriculture launched an investigation to determine the extent of the infestation. Thankfully, it was determined that the hornet population was small and localized. The Asian giant hornet is just one example of many different types of insects that can be found in South Carolina, which is home to a diverse array of insect species, including mosquitoes, ticks, bees, and ants. While some insects can pose threat to humans and other organisms, many play important roles in the ecosystem and contribute to the natural balance of the environment. South Carolina definitely, though, has issues with mosquitoes, ticks, and termites. Now, in South Carolina, like most of the South, the hot, humid climate is perfect for so many different insects. Number eight, Oklahoma. Now, the insect story in Oklahoma involves the emergence of cicadas in the summer of 2021. These insects, known as Brood 4, had been underground for 17 years before emerging in large numbers throughout the state. The cicadas are known for their loud, distinctive buzzing sound and can be a nuisance to some due to their sheer numbers and noise. However, they really don't pose a threat to humans other than being irritating. And they're actually beneficial to the environment. They just creep you out, especially if you've never seen them before, you don't know. They're everywhere. They're all over the ground. It looks like the ground is moving. It's gross. And then they shed their skin, and that's even grosser. Is grosser a word, or is he a guy that takes care of really good produce? The animal population, you know, every kind of rodent, skunk, possum, whatever, eats the cicadas and they get fat during this time of the year every 17 years. Oklahoma is a southern state and it has the same problems that most southern states have with mosquitoes, ticks, and termites. Now, they're not insects, they're arachnids like we talked about earlier, but they also have a lot of spiders in some areas of the state. Oklahoma's varied landscape is home to a wide variety of insects and spiders. 
Number seven, Arkansas. In the summer of 2019, Arkansas got its cicadas. A swarm of periodical cicadas emerged in Arkansas after spending their 17 years underground. These cicadas were known as Brood 14. They were part of a larger group of cicadas that emerged in various parts of the eastern United States. These also make the same noise. It is loud. It is constant. And then they leave that ghostly looking shell on trees and other surfaces. So they get out of their skin or their shell or whatever and they leave it there. And it sits there and it looks all white and transparent and it looks like a ghost bug. It's really gross. It's kind of sick. One of the biggest problems with these things is they fly around everywhere and they're flying in people's faces, getting tangled in girls' hair. It was kind of gross. There was tons of pictures of this one up on social media. Arkansas, like most southern states, have problems with mosquitoes, ticks, and termites. Another state that has chiggers. These are a mite. In Britain, they call them harvest mites. But what sucks about them is they get and they burrow into your skin where you sweat, like around where your socks come up, your armpits, around your undercarriage. Yeah. If you're out in the woods and you're getting sweaty, yeah, they show up there. People often confuse these as fleas. They are not. They burrow into your skin. They're a berry bug or bush mite. Some people call them scrub itch mites. Number six, Missouri. Missouri is another state that has all kinds of wonderful things to really bother you if you hate insects and spiders. They also get cicadas. Their large numbers come out every 13 or 17 years, depending on the species. In 2021, brood 10 cicadas emerged in several states, including Missouri. In May and June of 2021, residents in many parts of Missouri experienced the deafening chorus of millions of cicadas. In case you want to know how loud that gets, it can get up to what, 100 decibels. A uh, chainsaw at one meter distance, a diesel truck at one meter. Yeah, they can get loud. Missouri also has problems with mosquitoes, ticks, and termites. But one of their most well-known insects is the firefly, also known as the lightning bug. These bioluminescent insects are commonly seen lighting up the night sky during the summer months. Missouri is also home to a variety of beetle species, including scarab beetles, tiger beetles, and longhorned beetles. But the biggest problem is going to be your mosquitoes. They got a lot of water in Missouri and a lot of mosquitoes. They can transmit diseases like Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Missouri also has a bug called the kissing bug. This bug is known for transmitting a parasite that causes Chagas disease. Number five, Virginia. Virginia is another state that had the cicadas come out recently. Just like everywhere else, they were loud, ugly, and nasty. But they also have a lot of other things that are kind of scary, like the brown recluse. It's not native to Virginia, but the brown recluse spider has been found in the state. Its bite can cause tissue damage and in rare cases can be fatal. They also have the eastern velvet ant, also known as the cow killer ant. The eastern velvet ant is actually a type of wasp. Its sting is extremely painful and can cause swelling, but it's not usually deadly. Now, all these places have cicadas. They also have the eastern cicada killer wasp. The eastern cicada killer wasp is a large wasp that preys on cicadas. And like every other southern state, Virginia has issues with mosquitoes, ticks, termites, chiggers, and various species of ants. Number four, California. California has a real problem with termites, bed bugs, and cockroaches. Now, this was the first surprise I got when I was researching this. I didn't know California had that many insects and just nasty things. I knew we had black widows. I've seen them. I knew we had scorpions out in the desert along with all kinds of rattlesnakes and everything else like that. But I didn't know that we had all these different bugs. We have termites, a whole bunch of bed bugs, and a ton of cockroaches. I always say we like I still live there. I haven't lived there in 12 years. California's diverse landscape is home to a wide variety of insects, including bees, wasps, butterflies, and beetles. They also have western pine beetles and Mediterranean fruit flies. A few of the other things they have, which not in large numbers, it depends on where you go, but yellow jackets. It's a type of wasp found throughout California. They're very aggressive and will sting you multiple times. This is the other big one, Africanized honeybees. Africanized honeybees are also known as killer bees and were introduced in California in the 1990s. They are more aggressive than other types of honeybees and have been known to swarm and attack people. We thought they were going to be killing thousands of people throughout the state every year. No, never really panned out. But there was a big fear of this going on in the late 80s, early 90s. I guess when we weren't afraid of nuclear war anymore, you know, we'd been dealing with it for 20 years. They decided to start scaring us with Africanized bees. Biggest problem I ever ran into when I was there, I hated all the flies. 
when you go down by the ocean, seaweed time of the year, seaweed starts drying out and there's just flies everywhere on the beach. Hated it. Number three, Louisiana. Now, Louisiana has a pretty interesting story, and it involves a termite called a Formosan, or a Formosan, or Formosan. I've heard three different names for this. This invasive species of termite is believed to have first arrived in the United States in the mid-20th century and has since spread throughout the southeastern part of the country, including in Louisiana. Formosan termite is also known for its destructive feeding habit and can cause significant damage to buildings, wooden structures, and trees. In Louisiana, they have been responsible for over a million dollars in property damage and are considered a serious threat to homes and other structures. And then, of course, yeah, you're still in the south, so you're going to have serious mosquito, chigger, fleas, and the southern green stink bug, along with the cotton bollworm. You can also find Africanized honeybees in Louisiana, the red imported fire ant, of course the brown recluse, and on top of all that, Louisiana is filled with swamps, and we're not talking about reptiles and stuff, but they got a ton of different snakes and lizards and turtles, just a bunch of stuff to freak out if you go out in the woods. Number two, Mississippi. In the early 20th century, a severe infestation of the boll weevil, a type of beetle that feeds on cotton plants, devastated the cotton crops in the southern United States, including and especially Mississippi. This caused significant economic hardship to farmers who relied on the cotton as their primary crop. In response to this crisis, agricultural scientists and farmers in Mississippi and other affected states began to diversify their crops and adopt new farming practices such such as crop rotation and pest management strategies. Yeah, when 80% of your economy is cotton and something like this happens, you're talking decades before you recover. But all the different things that they did to, you know, kind of put this down, it worked. It improved the overall health and productivity of the region's agricultural sector. But Mississippi has all the typical southern issues, mosquitoes, termites, and fire ants. That's a big one here. Fire ants are everywhere. Now, in my opinion, in all the places I've been, Mississippi was by far the worst when it came to insects. The gnats get in your face. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's not on this list, but Georgia was the absolute worst with the gnats. I went through basic training, a bunch of other things in Georgia, and no matter what, the gnats were just in your face all the time. And they wouldn't let you swat at the ants either. All right, before we get to number one, this is what I learned in 2022 that made me start researching this video. I thought in the beginning, I'm not into bugs. I thought spiders were insects also, and I learned that. But I'm not alone. 65% of the population, in the United States at least, thinks spiders are insects. And this is the next thing that blew me away. I thought for sure at least 50% of the population was afraid of spiders. No, nowhere near it. Around the world, between 3 and 15% of individuals have been diagnosed with some sort of phobia. Fear of animals, fear of heights, triskaidekaphobia, which is the fear of the number 13, gorophobia, which is the fear of being in crowds, luposlipophobia, which is the fear of being chased around a table by timber wolves in your socks, and of course, arachnophobia. This is the one I thought that maybe 50% of the population had arachnophobia. I know so many people that they see a spider, they freak out. But very few people actually have the phobia. A lot of people are scared of spiders, but they don't have the phobia, which basically incapacitates them if they see a spider. All right, on to number one. And number one, Florida. Florida, again, all the southern state ones. They got fire ants, black widows, brown recluses. They also have the eastern lumber grasshopper. These very large and very colorful grasshoppers are found throughout Florida and are known for their toxic secretion. If ingested, the secretion can cause vomiting, convulsions, and even death. That's always fun. Of course, they have the giant water bug. This is a large insect that can be found in Florida's freshwater habitats and they're known for their painful bite. Their venom can cause respiratory distress and other health problems. Florida's also known for having it really bad when it comes to mosquitoes. They got water everywhere. Mosquitoes really need water to breed, grow, and live. In Florida, you can pick up the West Nile virus, the Zika virus, all from mosquitoes. Florida also has a ton of bed bugs, termites, and fire ants. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.